spoilers? I don't know, for the whole game at this point. This is the third video in the series, and you should really know what you're in for by this point. I do want to mention real quick though that I have gotten a lot of requests to cover stuff that was already in the Warframe Iceberg video, but that video is basically a feature-length film, so I'm going to cover those things here anyway. If you've seen the Iceberg video, you'll notice some repeats, and if not, then I don't know your loss, I guess. Anyways, without further ado, let's get this dread. Banshee's silence stops enemies from using loads of special abilities. There are too many interactions to talk about in a video this fast-paced, so I'll leave a list on screen now if you want to pause and take a look. Toxic Lash on Saren will have its proc damage boosted by any toxin mods present on your weapon, even if they're combined into other damage types, like Viral or Gas. Tenet Envoy's tracking rocket sound changes based on whether or not you've got your crosshair over an enemy. You can use an art gun while carrying Volt Shield. If you have only a primary equipped, you can carry data masses and power cells while still using the primary. You'll even keep it when you get downed. If you press Saku's 4 right before you hit the ground during a slam, you'll bounce off the ground and get launched a considerable distance. If you down a Litcher Sister three times without using the Parazon on them, they'll simply leave the mission without leveling up. The Arc Line ability on Itzal uses the energy color of your equipped Warframe, as opposed to the energy color of the Arc Wing itself. The icon that appears when an Iotan star drops actually signals what kind of star it is. If the star in the icon is small, it's a cyan, while if it's large, it's an amber. If you press up against an object while using Volt Speed, you'll still gain momentum, allowing you to yeet yourself pretty far. The Tenet Spirix has a unique reload animation when used with a glaive. You can still emote while in an arc wing or Titania's Razor Wing. If you subsume Radial Blind onto a Prime Warframe, you'll use Ascana Prime when casting the ability. Because they boost affinity sharing range, Phosphors can be used to massively increase the range of both Trinity's Bless and Harrow's Covenant. Vazarin's Mending Unity passive can also do this, and the two actually stack. Barrow has unique dialogue based on whether or not you are a regular Warframe, a Prime Warframe, Inaros, or Inaros Prime. Until next time. My lord, you find me, as always, in my hour of need. I, Barrow Kitir, stand ready to accompany you on another adventure of mutual benefit. But what's even more interesting is that, as an Aros Prime, you have access to a secret mission purchasable from Barrow called Void Raider. In this mission, you have to play an Aros Prime and defend Barrow from 10 waves of Nightwatch Grenier in the Void. You get a different reward each time you complete the mission, up to a point, as well as one Desert Skate Spectre. By interacting with this Solaris in Fortuna, you can replay the opening cutscene. Saren, Korra, and Oberon will all have their HP set to 1337 if you place on all Umbral mods and have a maxed Umbral Vitality. When hacking a Corpus Terminal, you can left-click to go clockwise like normal, but you can also right-click to go counterclockwise. I don't know what the controller binds are, but it should be the same idea on console. You can also press the gear button while hacking to instantly use a cipher. Zephyr's Jetstream Augment is the only way to boost the projectile speed of both the Strofa and the Tenet Agendas. If you enter the Index from the Dojo Navigation Room, you'll always get the Corpus Snowbase map. AI Railjack pilots will actually try to target radiators and reactor weak points for you. I say try because they don't seem to have proper line of sight detection and often just try to shoot the important thing from the opposite side. If you extract from a rescue mission while the hostage is bleeding out, you'll still win. You can roll through pretty much every knockdown in the game. Gunner slams, laser barricades, death orbs, and so on. You can change the ending of a reactor sabotage mission based on what you do with the coolant and fuel cells. You can place either the fuel cell in the reactor, the coolant cell in the reactor, or the fuel cell in the coolant system for different objectives and mission hazards. This is pretty cool, so I won't spoil exactly what happens, just know that the results are different between Corpus and Grenier sabotage missions. In the Enrichment Labs on the Orb Vallis, hacking this terminal has a chance to free the sentient battleist trapped in the glass. This seems to be exceptionally rare, though. The Amalgam Ripka's mod's 100% increased gore chance actually applies to all of your weapons, not just the Ripka's. The alt fire dart on Buzzlock has infinite punch through, meaning that when combined with Avara's Navigator, you can use it to see outside the map. If you press melee while wall latching, you'll do a wall attack. Despite being conservation targets, Velocipod's hit by sleep abilities won't be capturable while asleep. 
You can still ride them, but you won't be able to move at all, because they're asleep. Sebagoth's Gloom actually stacks with other sources of slow, like Nova's Molecular Prime or Xenoric's Temporal Blast. With enough slows in play, enemies can become functionally frozen. By using the Ballistic Bullseye Augment on Mesa, you can proc Slash using the Sunpoint Plasma Drill, which can actually kill things. This was discovered by Twisted Bolt on the Warframe subreddit, whose post I'll leave in the description if you're interested. You should really check him out, the stuff he posts is really cool. In a relay, if you stand in one of these spots as Octavia and use a Narta emote, you'll play your currently equipped song. Despite being immune to almost all forms of crowd control, capture targets can still be grappled by Kubro finishers. In Jupiter Sabotage, during the reactor meltdown sequence, the enemies that come to stop the meltdown are just regular nullifiers as opposed to the Vapus ones. Enemies can't contest interception points so long as they're caught in either Voban's Vortex or Nidus's Larva. Grenier Regulator drones are immune to status effects for some reason. In this Grenier Spy Vault, being spotted by a scanner will actually release the links in the middle of the room, starting an impromptu mini-boss fight. You can interact with your docked ship in a relay to go back to your orbiter. There's a console in Iron Wake that lets you do this too. Corpus Machinists use the Ambassador as a flamethrower, as opposed to the assault rifle form usable by players. If you only have one weapon equipped on Wukong, then both you and your twin will be able to use that weapon at the same time. When playing Zephyr, tornadoes will follow your crosshair if you aim down sight and point near them. If you have any form of holster reload on the Hema, not only will it still drain your health when stowed, but it will also deal way more damage than normal. Ballistica Prime's passive, which turns killed enemies into allied ghosts, still works on conservation targets. You know, I should probably stop abusing Verminx for this series. In addition to regular status immunity, Titania's Spellbind also prevents you from being knocked down. Rhino's Iron Skin and Inaros' Negation Swarm Augment do this too. The Scavenge mod for Kubros still shows the classic Corpus Locker design. The Simon Says Puzzle Room on Lua spawns a special rare container when completed, which has a small chance to drop a fully built Forma. If you touch an Auric in Death Orb as a Prime Warframe, you get a free 250 energy. This one's not too obscure, but it's still good to know. Baruch's animation sets practice Trigger Discipline, which is a nice thematic touch. If you're riding a K-Drive during an Eidolon's energy spike, you'll be completely immune to the magnetic proc from its blast. You can replay the Hun Hao boss fight from the Octavia's Anthem quest by interacting with this panel in Cephalon Suda's relay room. You can silence the firing sound of a gunblade by using either Banshee's passive or Loki's hushed invisibility augment. When casting Frost's Snow Globe, enemies that are launched out take true damage when colliding with an object. This means that the damage ignores all of their defenses. If you press Alt Fire while using Artemis Bow, you'll instantly fire whatever arrow you have currently selected with Quiver. You can do heavy attacks while sliding, and you can also slide while in the air. If you combine the two techniques, you can actually perform heavy attacks in the air, which can lead to some really weird stuff. Emisha's ultimate, Vengeful Rush, grants you energy even when you crash into a surface. If you approach your pet in your orbiter and press Interact, you'll pet them. You can do this with MOAs too, but strangely enough, not hounds. If an enemy is ragdolled and stuck in a position where they can't get up, they'll normally just die, but occasionally, they can just transcend the laws of physics instead. If you enter the Helminth room as Nidus, he will apply his full mutation look. You can control a lot of strange things with Navigator, but I think the weirdest stuff falls to fishing equipment. You can control fishing spears, which snap back to you after a brief period, as well as dies and bait, which can be flown around at abysmal speeds. So, uh, as I was working on this video, original Wicked Fun uploaded a video on this. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Alright, that's everything. Congrats on surviving another episode, and a huge thank you to everybody who left suggestions on the previous video. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments on this video, and remember to like, subscribe, and all that dumb shit. Most of you don't even make it to this part of the video, so I probably shouldn't say all that this late. In other news, I have a Discord server now, which you can find a link to in the description, and I also made a playlist for this series, which is in the description as well, if you need to catch up on any of the other episodes. The Discord is by far the best way to reach me, by the way, so if you have any questions and want to make sure I respond, shoot me a PM there. Anyhow, thank you for watching, and I'll see you around. I've given up on being funny, sorry guys. Baruch's animation sets Practor... Practor? Jesus. Baruch's animation sets practic- Why do I keep fucking this up? <laughs>